It was the first time the two sides had ever met, and Burroughs started in friendly fashion, offering the first chance to full-back Dean Austin. His shot clipped the outside of the post. Just three minutes later, Southend returned the favour. John Hendry worked the opening down the right, but the normally reliable Bernie Slaven could only side-foot his shot into the arms of keeper Paul Sansom. United, with their impressive away record, went in front, though, when Brett Angel delightfully headed past the sleeping Borough defenders from the corner. Back at the other end, big Tony Mowbray got up well to the free kick, and Bernie was in with another chance. This time, though, he couldn't get in a shot, and even Paul Wilkinson failed to get the touch. He did regain control, though, and he set up John Hendry. This time, the winger was felled by Angel, and referee John Kirby gave the penalty. Fullback Gary Parkinson had never missed from the spot in a league game, but he did this time. His shot straight at the keeper. The Borough bounced back though, still Bernie was out of luck. Young Jamie Pollock worked well on the right, but his cross only rebounded off the international. But they eventually managed to get the equaliser. Stuart Ripley must have been watching the John Hendry How to Score a Solo Special video at half-time. Ripper's back from injury and suspension, and back on target. Borough almost lost out, though, when Jimmy Phillips was robbed by Andy Anser on the edge of the box. Stephen Pears to the rescue. Ripley made one more contribution before being substituted. Wilkinson knocks his cross down to Slaven. The turn was terrific, the finish a bit on the weak side. At the end, it was left to pairs to make sure of the single point. It seemed certain that South End number nine, Steve Tilson, would score his first shot of the match, but somehow the keeper turned it over. A draw, but Burren need to make more of those chances. Well, Borough skipper Tony Mowbray, who's in his testimonial year at Ayrson Park, was first to leave the ground after yesterday's match. That was to avoid the obvious question about a certain transfer to Celtic for a million pounds. The stalwart from Saltburn has been ever-present this season and played more than 350 games for his local club that he joined as an apprentice. But his boss has confirmed that Mogger's days on Teesside are numbered, with a million pound deal on the table. Discussions have taken place between myself and Liam Brady. There would be no sense in denying that. I mean, he's been here 10 years. He's been a magnificent servant, a great professional, and he's done very well. But at the end of the day, his contract expires in a, at the end of the season. And, um, you know, I, I don't know this for a fact, but the boy may be thinking that, um, you know, 10 years is long enough. And uh, that would be a perfectly reasonable viewpoint. I'm sure as long as he's here, Tony, he'll, consider, he'll continue to give of his best. But um, as I say, Circumstances will work, will, will, will take care of that and it will be sorted out in a week, I would think. And Nicky Moen could be on his way to Plymouth as well. Lenny must have something up.